Look, nurse, just tell me how Marty Saybrook is doing. Well, I know for a fact that she was admitted last night, and she's pregnant, so maybe she's in the, um, in the, what do you call it, the maternity ward. You don't give out that information? Well, I'm a relative. I'm her son. Uh, Cole. A family code? No, I... What are you talking about? Hello? Hello? Why are you impersonating your daughter's boyfriend? What kind of trouble are you up to now? Ooh, I have to go dress shopping. It's only a couple weeks until prom. <laughs> you smell so good. Hey, do you think it's silly of me? Dragging you into my prom? No, of course not. It'll be fun. Sure, because we live together and we have a kid. Hey, hey, hey. Prom is supposed to be one of those nights that you always remember. You know, because you're with the person you love. And they, they try to make it like into like a, a, a fantasy or something with like the music and the lights. So that when you look at each other, you remember how lucky you are to be together. Get a room. Hey, I had a whole apartment until someone moved in. Oh, yes, Star, why'd you have to move in? He was talking about me. Hey, Lang. Yeah. I got a book. I got work. Oh, okay. But uh, before I go, don't you have something you need to tell me? Your mother makes the best eggs on the planet. Yeah, she's a good cook. Layla, I want to ask you something. And I'm really hoping you'll say yes. You're back. Everything's so awful. I'm not gonna believe this. What's going on? John just accused me of killing Marty's baby. A baby? How are you feeling? Sweetheart, it can't be as bad as all that. You have no idea. I'm so glad you're home. So am I. Bree has missed you. Is she okay? She's fine. She had a wonderful time in London with her uncles and even with David Vickers, who absolutely doted on her. It was very funny. He took her to the park every single day and they fed pigeons. I wish I could be the mother that she needs. Is there no progress at all? You haven't recovered any memories of your adult life? Still 17, senior in high school. And I was really looking forward to the prom until Christian decided to 
ask someone else. I really want you to be with me, so I'm hoping you'll say yes. Hey, Rumi! Oh, Layla, you shouldn't have. So what were you this morning? I thought the idea was to hit the gym. Mr. Studley never came home last night. Where were you? Well, uh, I had a room at the palace, and I thought I'd take advantage of it. Mm, anyone we know? I don't guess and tell. Like, we don't know who you've been seeing. Come on, Lane. You know you can't keep a secret from me. What do you mean? The prom. I saw the tickets on the dresser. Yeah, you figured it out. Yeah, I was gonna talk to you about it, but I guess it's okay. Have a chance. I accept. And I promise you, this year's prom night is gonna be even better than last year's. Mm. See? I told you you would wanna go to prom. It's gonna be great. Hey, did you guys hear what happened to Marco last night? What do you mean? Oh, well, he's supposed to meet this um, film director in his hotel room, but instead he ran into Ford shacking up with some girl. No, yeah, he didn't mention that. Ford sure didn't waste any time. You know, because you... I mean, after you dumped on me, he moved on. I mean, you did dump him, Langston. What happened? Look, I know that you made me promise not to go and see Marty, but I felt so bad about the things that I said to her. I had to go and apologize. And I mean, I still can't believe those words came out of my mouth. If it weren't for the baby, John would be with me. Brody, Marty lost the baby. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. But miscarriages happen, Natalie. You can't blame it wasn't yourself. A miscarriage. Someone pushed Marty down the stairs. Baby died. It's a homicide. Who would push a pregnant woman down a flight of stairs? Me, according to John. Were you here all night? Did you sleep at all? It doesn't matter. As long as you're okay. When I was in surgery, did you find Natalie? Yeah. Did you arrest her? No. What? Why not? She took our baby. She pushed me down those stairs and she made me lose our baby. She belongs in jail. Anybody ever teach you to knock? On the door of my own office? We share the space, remember? This is my desk, remember? So why are you pretending to be Cole Thornhart? Oh, I was just following up on a story we're doing about uh, identity theft. So you thought you'd give it a try? John and I are going to have this baby. And there's nothing you can do about it. Cole and Star, they love each other. And there's nothing you can do about it. We are all going to be happy. And there is nothing you can do about it. We'll see. We'll see. Todd. What? Where'd you go? No, that's just, I've got a lot on my mind, so. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll handle it. 